Hey guys, it's the Solo Cloth here today, and so this Monster Legends Guides video, I'm going to be telling you guys how to find a good team for the current marathon. So let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, so if you didn't know, a marathon has started, and you will need a good team in order to get the monster. You will need to be able to get at least 10 laps. So in this video, I will just be telling you guys how to find a team that can get at least 10 laps. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and join the official Monster Legends Discord server. You can find this server actually in game. If you go to the left and then click on the little arrow for the chat, and then go to the the one on the top left then click on that and then click join you can go ahead and actually join the discord server and then once you're here you'll be brought to this screen which is the rules and information section and the section you want to go to is the team hall section and then you will see all of these options and you want to go to recruit members recruit beginners or recruit experience i use recruit members as an example and this is of course even if you are looking for a team and not recruiting members so once you are here you'll be brought to a bunch of different teams and you will want to look for one with all of this different stuff up here so that you know what you're getting yourself into and you also want to be able to see the race log and hopefully the war log but a lot of teams don't even post the war logs so if it's just the race log that is fine and when looking at the race log you want to look for at least 10 laps of course because as i said earlier on that is when you get the monster and you can also go up here to see all of the different rules and make sure that you actually read these so that you know what you need to do in order to not be kicked so yeah go and look at the race log see that they have at least 10 laps and then read the rules and make sure you know what you're getting into make sure to also look at this and see what the minimum monster power is so that you know if you can actually join and you can also see if it's private or public if the team is private i suggest dming the person that posted the team thing and asking them if they can let you in giving them their username stuff like that and then you should be able to get in pretty easily and if you can see a warlock if any of the teams have a warlock look for at least 100 war coins because that does mean that they are active and if they have 200 or over that is even better so yeah just at least 100 war coins and yeah that is pretty much all you're going to want to look for in a team let me know down in the comments if this video is helpful for you guys and i will see you guys in the next one over to like share and subscribe goodbye